This video was made to review and critique the material in it and is not intended to be a substitute for the original work. I do not own the material or any part of the series in this video. Please support Studio Bones by watching the full episode and show on Crunchyroll, Netflix, Hulu or any other platform that legally streams it in your region. Links to the official sites are available in the description box below. This video is intended to fall under the general guidelines of fair use and is edited as to not compete with the original work. As an aspiring writer and artist, my goal is to comment, review, critique and learn from the work. Thank you for understanding. Welcome to Watcher, today we're watching episode 30 of Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. First of all, thank you so much for the support and for joining me on this adventure. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the content, I truly appreciate that. I feel like we all just got a warning from the principal. The outcome is better than I expected. I thought that at least someone would die. Back to square one, I suppose. Both for the Elric brothers and for Mustang. No one can do anything about the father and his homunculi. And it looks like they will keep on pulling the strings from the shadows. They they are preparing for something huge, and Ed and the gang have been told to not interfere, and to simply just wait for it. Anyway, Scar is squeezing out answers regarding the Ishvala war from Marco. He might even kill him after he tells him everything, but I like that the truth is being revealed to him. He needs to know what happened. I still hold out hope that he will join up with Ed and Al someday. Against the corruption, obviously. Who are you? Who can it be? A father maybe? A master? Sensei, he said. So many people have a problem with the military. For good reasons. Oh, what was the research about? The greatest, most powerful alchemy. Man, you're speaking in code. Then what? Well, I like that. I like that as well. Oh no, oh no. Are you okay, Sensei? Mm, does not look good. Master Hawkeye! Oh, wow! So she is his daughter. They're pretty close for that reason. It's a nice dream. I like it. It's difficult to achieve though. Yo, what the hell? Okay, making things awkward. Mm. I know how you truly feel. Come on, it's obvious. Oh, let's see how this is going. Come on, tell us. That is so horrible. Freaking envy. And this is when hell began. Just listening to this. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's all you can say right now. They really came here to exterminate everyone. Look at that. A complete massacre. I kinda like this art style. It looks painted. Very beautiful. Oh, hello there. Develop the eyes of a killer. She's ask, asking some good questions. I bet he's loving this. Uh oh. He's calling her out. It's an interesting conversation. Very psychological. I like that. He's kind of scary as a character, this dude. I bet he's about to return to the story, somehow. Oh, what the hell? This is disgusting, what they are doing. 
Nah, I completely understand Scar's anger. Like, imagine if that were you and your people. The Crimson Al Alchemist. You remember him. He ruined your life. This dude just enjoyed this too much. Like, what the hell? If anyone has to be eliminated, it's him. Like, what is he about, even? Oh, the High Priest. I see. This is so interesting. Really? Well, that's kind of what he's saying. But this dude is ruthless. We know, we know that. This just makes me even more angry. Man, I hope Scar gets you. I doubt he will, but it would be amazing. To get to the top, right? That is the only solution for Mustang to take over. But I don't see it happening. Not the way things are going. It looks kind of impossible. There are just so many players involved. And everyone is more powerful than he is. So that's how she became his assistant. I love episodes like this. Pretty committed. That's awesome. Okay. Yes, sounds good, but come on, how do we do that? Well, how is that gonna work? She's speaking facts. This is such an important conversation for Edward. Maybe they should focus on that. Let Mustang deal with everything else. And then... When you're ready, come back, and then we'll talk again. Oh, what happened here? Is he gone? Is he dead? I bet he's dead. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? Yo, Scar takes no prisoners. That's for sure. The episodes in this show are so cleverly done. Each episode brings us something important, keeping us interested in the story and the world. Anyway, Ed met up with Hawkeye and learned more about the Ishvalan War. My favorite part of this story. It's something I really can relate to, and that's probably why I love it so much. We also saw how Mustang met up with Hawkeye and how they began working together. When you think about it, this episode gave us a lot. I felt engaged from start to finish. Now, regarding Scar. I like him, but I can't help but feel like he's a bit too violent. Although I do understand his rage. I can't see a happy ending for him. He has just caused too much damage and destruction. There were so many great and interesting moments in this episode. From Mustang talking to his master, to Bradley refusing to stop the extermination. Amazing writing throughout. I'm gonna give this episode a 9 out of 10. These are my favorite types of episodes. And as Hawkeye said, Ed and Al should focus on getting their bodies back. Leave the rest to Mustang. Anyway guys, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, then please subscribe and leave a like. I'd really appreciate that. Now take care and see you next time.